Great morning, friends. Jason DeSantis, hashtag Cincy Car Coach, YouTube at Jason DeSantis. Oh my lord, Jason is not dressed for work today. That's right, I am not dressed for work today. You see me six days a week, if you watch these things. <laughs> I make these things six days a week. I take one day off. By the way, I work that day too. But today, I am not dressed for work. I'll tell you why in a minute. Side note. More importantly, I have a very, very important message. I am super passionate about what I'm about to say, so I need you to tune in. This is serious. This is the whole entire reason why I started making these videos and why I continue to make them and why I enjoy it so much. Because if one person today can absorb what I'm about to say and it make a positive impact for them, if I do that every... I'll make these videos every day for the rest of my life if I truly believe that that's the case. And I think it does because I'm being told it does on a regular basis. I get private messages all the time. But here's the private message that really bothers me and I need to address this. I had one this morning. Jason, love your videos. Thanks for making them. Made my day. I was really down and now I feel better. Whatever the case may be, I love it. It's phenomenal. It's what drives me and motivates me to do more. But then it's followed up with a question. Are you really always this happy? Are you really always motivated and excited? Or is this just some sort of front that you put on? And I hear these I hear these questions and I'm like, they're sincere. It boggles my mind. I can't believe it. Someone would wonder if somebody could be happy a lot or all, seemingly all the time. Um, the answer is yes, yes. I wake up and I am excited and happy every day. Are there things that I get down about? Yes. Are there things that frustrate me? Yes. Do I get angry? Yes. But the majority of my day is filled with happiness, excitement, gratitude, joy, love, and anticipation for life. Why is that, right? Because I've learned how to ask myself the right questions, okay? You're asking yourself questions every day, whether you know it or not, subconsciously. And they control the outcome of your life. Bottom line. Bottom line. Let me, let me give you an illustration about how, how serious and impactful questions are. Um, let's think. What was the favorite car you ever owned in your life, right? Maybe the first car you got when you were a teenager. Or, or maybe you got that first big job where you could afford the car that, that you really liked. What was it? What color was it? Right? Mine was a 1993 Camaro Z28. It was black. I was in college. Chrome rims, limo tint, boom box in the back. <laughs> Anyhow, you probably have a picture in your mind of your favorite car, right? You probably just imagined mine just because I said that. But here's the deal. My question to you forced you to picture your car and the color of it. That's mind control. I just controlled your mind through this video, right? I'm not trying to sound weird and crazy, but it's a fact. Questions force the mind, literally force the mind to come to a conclusion and an answer to the question. The mind is literally forced to ponder the answer to a question when you ask it. It's the way your brain is built. Nothing you can do about it. So, do you want your mind to ponder negative, nasty things that bring you down or do you want your mind to ponder positive, uplifting things that fill your soul? It's up to you. That's all I do. I literally wake up every morning, I open my eyes, I look at the ceiling, and I say, thank you, Lord, for another beautiful day. And then whatever else comes to my mind, whatever's going on in my life, even if something negative pops up, I think of the gratitude for the opportunity to get through it. The gratitude that that thing isn't as bad as it could be. That I'm already so far beyond the worst of it, possibly. There's always, there's always positive. I mean, it, it's going to get cliche, but look. Do you really believe you don't deserve to be happy every day? Do you really believe you have to be upset about things? You don't. Ask yourself the right questions, but they have to be simple enough. Don't ask, why is this happening to me? Don't ask, why can't I ever this? Don't ask, why doesn't he or she do that? Life is not a battlefield, all right? You know, what's that phrase, love is a battlefield? It shouldn't be, it's not, unless you make it. It's a playground. Life is a playground. Freaking enjoy it. Swing around on the monkey bars. Have fun, be goofy. Encourage others to have fun. Say, come on, come climb this with me. Right? I'm, I'm making an illustration, but really, this is about being a kid and enjoying your life. 
with the responsibilities that come with your life, but enjoy your responsibilities. Enjoy the discipline it requires to move ahead in life. Ask yourself the right questions. Ask things like, what am I grateful for today? What is it about me that makes me special to the people around me? I can answer these questions because I ask them myself all the time. You should too. So that's my challenge today. Why am I dressed up? Uh, not dressed for work because I'm going to a, um, a retreat this weekend to the church. It's called Man Camp. Really excited about it. And um, I wanted to make that point also because I'm not going to be making any videos tomorrow. So I won't see you till two days from now. I didn't die. I'm going to come back probably pretty excited with some real impactful things to say to you. Anyhow, make it a great day.